Hi, welcome to my IGCSC ICD Passive Paper Discussion Channel. I'm YZ. In this video, I'm going to discuss on October November 2021 presentation. So, in this paper, presentation is task number six. So, let's navigate to task number six. So in task number six presentation, you are going to create a short presentation. All the slides must have consistent layout and formatting. Unless otherwise instructed, the slide must be formatted to display, title, and bullet list. So it's a compulsory sorry, to show the title and the bullet list layout. So create a presentation of six slides using n2102cams.rtf rtf is a rich text format file so first of all let's launch the powerpoint in this video i will use powerpoint to uh, solve the question so to import the file new slides slides from outline so navigate to get the source file so we have cams inserts so all the six slides will be imported into the presentation and please delete the first blank slide. So next steps, place in the header your name, center number, candidate's number. Make sure that all the headers appear at the same position on every slide. So since in this question, they never mentioned which positions we want it to be displayed. So you can use the slide master. Please remember always do it in the slide master okay these are the individual slide layout so we go to the slide master do it in the footer so insert header footer check the checkbox for footer so this is the position where we're going to put in the details so you put in your full name and the number so zack zack 999 center number and 9999 is your candidate's number so apply to all because in the question we want it to appear at the header right so just first thing of all change it to black color so that it is clear then we want it in the header so for me i will just move this box to the header and we can adjust it at the correct position you can put it here you can put it on the left or the right it's up to your decision so just need to close slide master view and you can have all the Candidate's details appear on every single slide. Okay, every single slide. Then next, change the layout of the slide with the title International Skill Competitions. Do a title and table layout. Create a table with contains four columns and seven rows. Copy the data from this CSV file and place this in the table. So since we have the data given in the source file, let's open the source file. Have a look first. So open in your CSV file. This is what we have. Adjust the color with first. So you will mention four columns and seven rows. So one, two, three, four. There are four columns and seven rows. So let's go to the question, double check what we need to perform first. So format the table so that it is a plain table star apply. No text wrap within the table. The table fit the slide with full data. All the data fully visible or internal external grid line are displayed when printed so we need to draw the grid line so i will do it in the spreadsheet which is easier to perform so select your row one until row seven and the four columns go to draw all borders copy and go to your Slides with the title International Skills Competition, which is your last slide. So we can put it layout, title content layout, and this is the table, right? So we got to in include the table. So delete the whole thing, paste the table. This is how it looks like. So what we have to do is we just need to adjust it, make sure that it is covered at the it cover at the content. Mm, positions and no text wrap 
and it also never mentions like what is the font styles we need right okay what is the font size at the moment so we just need to make sure that all the data are fully visible and then they are all clearly visible readable then we go to next question first because plain text styles which is already applied so we go to next questions insert a new row above row now first row merge the cell so that the first row in the first row and enter euro skills and the world skill so that row two one and row two looks like this so this is what we want you have year location year location and the two title so let's have a look we have the year location so select the first row sorry select the first row right click insert above so we have the data being inserted above the table now at the first row so merge the first two row right click i can merge the cell select the two row merge the cell and here you type in the content needed so here we need euro skills and then were skills i have two okay then both are left aligned no problem okay leave it like this first so next thing format the table so that all the row is 1.5 centimeter height the text in all the row should be center aligned horizontally and vertically so what we need to do is we need to select the whole table go to the layout tab change the row height to 1.5 centimeter so we set the row height okay set the row height and the data is all in 11 point fonts so for me i will change it slightly bigger which is easier for us to read okay then we have to we have to make the text in each of the row center align horizontally and vertically so go to the layout this is for center align okay this is center align vertically and center align horizontally so middle align so this is how the data should looks like and there's no text wrap okay there's no text wrap so this is what you need to perform for your slide number six then next question Add the following text as a presenter or speaker notes for the slide with title International Skill Competition. Okay, the same slides. So you need to type in this content. So go to notes, enable the notes. So over here, you type in the content. Event, how alternate years. So this is how this is our, what we need to put in as the speaker notes. Then print only this slide as a presenter or speaker notes as your printout number seven. So to print only this slides, we go to print preview, and you have to print to PDF. I print to PDF because I need to output it as a PDF file. And then this is the only slide we want. So current slide, this is the one. And let's go to the notes notes page. So you can see the notes you type in does not was appear. And don't forget edit header footer first. Include in your header your candidates here, your full name, center number, and candidates number. So that it is clear when you print it out. So you export to PDF. So this is your printout number seven. So if you go to your work, have a look. This is how it should looks like. So here is it for your printout number seven. Then the next thing, save the presentation. Print all the slides in this presentation as a hands up with a layout of six slides in a page. So what we have to do is we have to export it again. We have to print it again for all the slides. 
with six likes per page. So you choose the six likes per page and make sure that you have the candidate details on top and you can output it. Okay, you can print it. So this is your printout number eight. So when you have a quick checking, this is how it looks like. Okay, how the slide should looks like. And remember, don't change the first slide to the uh, subtitle layout because in the question, it clearly mentioned that all the slides must be displayed in title bullet list. So we are not supposed to change this unless it mentioned that the first slide should be title and subtitle layout. So I hope with this video, it helped you to clear your doubts in this presentation task. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like my video, remember to subscribe to it. See you in my next video. Thank you.